so there's a bit of a theme in this episode, and I won't tell you outright. We'll see if you can guess it, but uh, this compressor is broken. Uh, a few weeks ago, people reported a, a strange noise and found out all the paint had burnt off this line here. So the piston rings have, they're completely shot in both of these cylinders here. So we're using the compressor up in the forward engine room as a, uh, as a substitute for now. And we contacted Ingersoll Rand. They can't find the parts for it, so we're just going to get another compressor that is quieter, more energy efficient, all that. Um, so just to pay respects to this compressor, uh, I'm going to put a clip of this compressor running from an earlier video. Uh, just to, just to remember the good times. About a month ago, uh, Mike had run the whale boat. He ran it for, I don't know, half hour. Shut it down, everything was normal. And we go to start it back up the next week, and it doesn't work anymore. So, that's another thing. And this is the way that it usually sits on the engine, because this goes into the right into the block there, it is a counter shaft that spins that. And then the bolt holes are slotted and that gives you maybe, you know, a couple degrees uh, for advancing or, or retarding the timing. Now, my initial suspicion was that the, the shutoff valve was stuck because when we were cranking it over, this thing was moving fuel into the bypass line. So when you when you pull this, the cable that's attached to this, this shuts off fuel to the engine. And it just sends all the fuel through here, and then it goes in here, and then it goes back to the filter. So, so I forgot actually to uh, put the pressure switch back in, but I've got the port filled with fuel and we'll see if fuel comes out of any of these ports here while the valve is in the run position. There you have it folks. So I am getting fuel shooting out. So before we pursue a $1,600 rebuild of this pump, I'm going to go ahead and just put it back on and see if this is going to get us through the rest of the season while I go ahead and source either another used one as a spare or go through with the rebuild.
pretty crispy up there. Just a little. Boy, just, you, you gotta wonder why people don't come up here more often. Just a bit. Do you know the last time this would have been touched up and painted? Too long ago. Too long, yeah. I guess we need more volunteers. Yeah. I feel agile. Yes, agile volunteers who, who don't mind the climb. Lunchtime. 